Hello, welcome to the Current Affairs Program, a day in 15 minutes brought to you by NEO IAS. The topics for discussion today are the new population policy in Uttar Pradesh, the IT rules of 2021, light combat helicopters, Kesariya Buddha Stupa and the places in news. Stay tuned for the previous year question revision series at the end of the video. Moving on to the first topic, the new population policy of Uttar Pradesh. The Uttar Pradesh government has come up with a population policy for the state for 2021 to 2030. On the eve of World Population Day, the Uttar Pradesh government has proposed a new population policy for the state for 2021 to 2030. The government is of the view that an alarming rate of population growth is a major hindrance to the economic development of the state. Uttar Pradesh being the most populous state of the country, the State Law Commission has prepared a proposed draft Bill for Population Control, under which a two-child norm would be implemented and promoted. A person who will have more than two children would be debarred from the benefits of the government once the law comes into force. It is also to be noted that a national population policy is already in place, which was formulated in the year 2000 with an aim to attain population stabilization by 2045. It reaffirms the government's commitment towards voluntary and informed choice target-free approach and achievement of replacement level of fertility. The National Family Planning Program is to be implemented and executed under this policy. The next topic for the day is IT rules of 2021. Twitter submitted its first compliance report titled India Transparency Report under the IT rules of 2021. The new rules which came into effect from May 25 mandate social media companies to establish a grievance redressal mechanism for resolving complaints from the users or victims. All significant social media companies with over 50 lakh user base are mandated to appoint a chief compliance officer, a nodal contact person and a resident grievance officer. All of them should be a resident of India. Some of the media houses has challenged this policy on the grounds of violation of right to privacy and being unconstitutional. The matter is currently subjudice. Log in to neoias.com. Go to courses and click on current affairs. Select CAP 2021. Proceed to check out and pay. The next topic for the day is light combat helicopters. Hindustan Aeronautics Limited is gearing up to deliver the first batch of three light combat helicopters to the Indian Air Force once the acceptance tests are completed. The LCH, which is the light combat helicopters, the lightest attack helicopter in the world weighs 5.5 tons and it has been designed and developed by the HAL to meet the specific and unique requirements of the Indian Armed Forces and can operate at heights of 12,000 feet. Moving on, the next topic is Kesariya Buddha Stupa, which is located at the East Champaran district of Bihar. It is in news currently because it is waterlogged. The Kesariya Buddha Stupa is regarded as the largest Buddhist stupa of the world. It is set to date back to the time of Emperor Ashoka as the remains of an Ashokan pillar was discovered there. The ASI has declared it a protected monument of national importance. The final topic for the day is the places in news. The places in news today are Puri at Odisha due to the annual Rath Yatra, Kandahar, Kabul and Bagram airfield of Afghanistan which is in news due to the withdrawal of US troops after 20 years and at the brim of a civil war. We would like you to locate these places on the atlas and read about them on the internet so that it would help you solve the map related questions in the UPSC prelims. We now move on to answering the question that was posted yesterday as part of the previous year question revision series. The question that was posted yesterday was, which of the following are the reasons or factors for exposure to benzene pollution? The answer to this question is option D, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. We continue with the previous year question revision series. The question for the day is, in the context of recent advances in human reproductive technology, pro-nuclear transfer is used for Option A, fertilization of egg in vitro by the donor sperm, genetic modification of sperm producing cells, development of stem cells into functional embryos, prevention of mitochondrial diseases in the offspring. We request you to give your responses in the comment section below. We come to the end of today's session. Thank you.